Let's see some examples of that. So imagine that the, the property we are talking about is the volume. Okay? So we need to define the a specific content of volume. How would be the specific content of volume? Can anyone say this in words? What is the specific content of volume? The amount of volume per unit of mass. This doesn't sound. But if I revert and say the inverse of this would be the man, the amount of mass per inverse of volume. Is it sound, sounding to you? What is this? The density, okay? So if volume is the property, then the, the a specific contents is the inverse of the density. And the flux would be the integral of rho times phi, which is one over rho, bn differential of s. So is the integral over a section, over a, 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 over a, a surface, of the velocity times the normal times differential of s. This is the convective flux of volume. So the amount of volume that crosses a surface per unit of time. Yes. You have taken hydraulic curses. What is that? The amount of volume that crosses a certain surface per unit of time. Caudal. In Spanish is caudal. In English is volume flux. Okay? So now we can understand the word caudal. Well, how is it computed? The velocity times the normal. Well, simplify it. If the normal in the velocity have the same sense, that would become the velocity times the normal times the surface. But if the, the surface is curved or the velocity is not uniform, that's the way to compute the caudal, the volume flux. Okay? And that is nothing else than the combatic flux of value. Okay. What about if the solution, the problem is the mass? How do we compute the mass flux? That would be the amount of mass that crosses a surface per unit of mass. Okay? That is a per unit of time, sorry. So now we need to define the, the a specific contents of this property per unit of mass. So the mass per unit of mass, how much is that? Is one. The mass per unit of mass is one. So then the, the flux of mass would be the integral of rho times one times Bn differential. So rho Bn differential of S. So it's just similar to the volume flux, but uh, just you have to add the term density. Multiply the density times the velocity, the normal velocity, times the surface. That gives the amount of mass that crosses a section in a river, for instance, or in a, in a, in a, in a, a channel. OK? So that's the mass. For instance, what about this, the property, not necessarily in the scalar, for instance, what is the momentum? Momentum, cantidad de movement, cantidad de movimiento, is defined as the amount of velocity times mass, mass times velocity is the momentum, cantidad de movimiento. But then, if you want to quantify what is the flux of the momentum per unit of surface, I ha we have to define a property which is the, uh, the, the amount of this property per unit of mass, which would be the mass times the volume divided by mass. So the specific contents of the momentum is the velocity. The momentum per unit of mass is the velocity. So then, if I want to compute the momentum flux, I have to compute the integral of rho times phi b times that product, which is a scalar b and differential of s. So look, what is that? An a scalar, a vector, what tensor? What, what is it? Can you say? A vector. a vector. Because this is a scalar, this is a scalar, but this is a vector. Okay? So this is a case in which the entity that we are dealing with is a vector, and the flux is not a scalar anymore, it's a vector. Okay? What about if we talk about, for instance, the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy of particles, you know, the kinetic energy is one half of the mass times the velocity squared. So the specific contents is one half of mass plus the square divided by mass. So the specific contents in that case is one half of b squared. So then the convective flux is one half of rho times phi, one half of b squared times, again, look, this term always comes here. 
Is this a scalar, a vector, or a tensor? B square, what is B square? B square stands by V dot V, the modulus of the velocity. Okay? So this is a, is a, it's, a, it's, a, it's the modulus of the velocity square. So this is a, which is a, a, a scalar. So that's a scalar too, so that's a scalar. Okay? And we could also talk about other properties. For instance, we could see about stress. What is the, I just leave it to you, compute, compute, how would you com compute the uh, flux of stresses, the convective flux of stresses, okay? Every particle of a solid have some stresses per unit of mass. So when they cross a surface, there is a transport of this property due to convection. Com you can compute that. And that would be, in the terms, the result, can you just guess what would be that? If you are talking about the stresses, the flux of stresses would be what? Stresses are a tensor. So the flux of stresses would be a tensor, second order tensor, and so on. 